Hey guys, what's up? It's Sydney, your Sunny Health and Fitness Trainer. I have a cycle hit workout for you guys today, so let's get started. We're gonna start with a quick two minute warm up just to increase the blood flow, get those muscles working and moving, increase that core body temperature before we get to the real meat of this workout. So the workout that we have on deck for today is 45 seconds hard, all out climb. We're gonna crank up that resistance pretty high and we're just gonna go for it. After we finish that 45 seconds, we have two minutes of full recovery. So you're going to be back on your seat, going at whatever pace you need to, to recover. It can be very slow. If you're feeling good, you can pick up the pace as we get closer and closer to that next hit interval. We're gonna be doing six of the 45 second climbs. So all in all, this is gonna be just over 15 minutes but it should be a really great burn. So get ready to work. We have about one more minute left on the clock for this warm up, and then we're gonna head straight into that 45 second climb. So get ready to work, increase that speed a little bit. Really warm up that body before we get going. Remember to think about your posture as you're cycling through this workout. We want to keep a tight core. Our back should be nice and upright in that straight spinal position. Very neutral. All right, guys, we've got about five seconds here. Three, two, one. Crank up that resistance and we're climbing. Come on guys. Come on guys, tight core. Put all of your energy into it. Got about 20 seconds left. and back down put that resistance back down catch your breath we've got two minutes here just to relax and prepare for that next sprint don't need the full two minutes of recovery, that's totally fine. As you start feeling better and better, we wanna increase that pace. Our resistance is on low right now, so we wanna keep that heart rate going. Again, we don't wanna be dying during our recovery phase, but if you can't pick up the pace, that's awesome. Bring that breathing back down, back on back to normal. Got a little under a minute here before our next climb. All right, depending on how that last hill climb went, adjust as needed. If you need to increase your resistance, do it. If you need to decrease a little bit because you could hardly move, then do that too. Got about 25 seconds. Pick up that pace here if you can. Let's get ready to move. Right, guys five seconds three two and 
one up off that saddle and we are climbing. All right guys, that resistance should be up and you should be pushing as hard as you can. seconds. Three, two, and one. Whew. Lower that resistance. Nice and easy pedaling. Of rest here. Focus on your breathing. Nice and even breaths. Let's get that breathing back to normal before we focus on that next climb. You guys are doing awesome. Two climbs down, four to go. Five seconds left so get ready if you're feeling good pick that piece back up just to get that full motion going get our momentum up before we get into that next climb seconds. All right, three, two, and one. Off the saddle, getting that climb. Elbows should be a little bent. Make sure you're not locking those out. Nice, good posture. Ten more seconds. And down. Whew. Bring it down. Good job, guys. Okay, if you're not feeling the burn right about now, gotta increase that resistance. <sighs> Cause man, am I feeling this. <laughs> Got about a minute left. Halfway done with those climbs. We only have three more climbs left. You guys should kind of be in a rhythm now. Kind of get the feel of where your resistance should be and how you can push yourself in this workout. Now this is a great workout that you guys can keep on using as you get in better shape. Just continue to increase that resistance and increase your pace. 
As you get stronger, you should be able to push yourself even harder with this workout. Which I really love a good workout that can grow with you as you grow on your fitness journey. All right guys, 15 more seconds. Let's get that pace going. Let's get ready to go. All right, up off that saddle. Increase that resistance. And we're pushing up that hill. Come on guys, keep climbing. Keep pushing through that burn. on down and ease into that two minutes of recovery Whew. great job you guys we only have two climbs left so stick with me here before we start our next climb. You guys are doing so awesome. Keep up the good work. Keep that energy going. Only two more climbs left. You guys have already accomplished four climbs today, so you know that you can get those last two in. everything you've got. Fifteen more seconds. And five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. back on that saddle. Two more minutes of relaxation before we get back to it. Come on you guys, you're doing awesome. Only one more climb left. So proud of you guys today. You're doing an awesome job. Our work here is almost done. about you guys but I can really feel that burn in my legs during those climbs <laughs> really feeling it in my quads 
my glutes, my hamstrings. I can feel everything burning. I love that feeling. So just know, if you're feeling that, you're not alone. All right, guys, 45 more seconds, and we'll hit this last climb. Pick up that recovery pace a little bit. Got about 20 more seconds before we get moving again. this last one. Come on guys, let's leave it all out there. Push through that burn. Today, you guys. That was really awesome work. Whew, great burn. All right, guys, resistance should be all the way down here. We're just working on riding it out, bringing our core body temperature down, cooling down those muscles. after this workout, I challenge you to do it again. Turn up that resistance, turn up your intensity. This is supposed to be a high intensity, hard workout. I'm so proud of you guys for joining me today on this awesome workout. We will see you guys next time. <laughs>